What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something super fun and we're actually gonna be trying out strange clothing items that I found on the internet. If you guys have been on my channel for a little while, you may already know this is kind of like an ongoing series on here. And honestly, I have so much fun trying out weird clothing items all the time. If you guys haven't seen the previous videos, I'll link them all in a playlist in the eye right there. Most of these items are once again from ASOS. I feel like ASOS always delivers with the strange clothing goods. If you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys wanna stick around, be sure to subscribe down below. But if you guys wanna see some of these strange clothing items being put to the test by yours truly, then without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, the very first item I have to show you guys is probably the most ridiculous pairs of shoes I've ever seen in my life. I have been seeing these all over Instagram and people are legit wearing these like on a serious level. Like I don't understand why or how or where these even came from. Now the original pair of these I'm pretty sure are like some kind of designer pair of shoes and they are very expensive so when I saw that Ego has literally just brought out a pair that was like a hundred pounds which is still expensive but compared to the original it is obviously a fraction of the price. I just had to jump on it. I was literally right there on the Ego website. They were in my basket and that is how we are here. This is how these bad boys have arrived. And honestly, when I tell you, I've never been this excited about trying a ridiculous pair of shoes. I honestly mean it. Oh my God. They are literally just as ridiculous as I imagined. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. Three, two, one. I have no words. What are these? What are those? These are ridiculous. Like I just don't understand how these are considered like trendy right now. Honestly, who is wearing them and where are you wearing them to? That is what I wanna know. These literally look like a kid's like, I don't know, Play-Doh shoe. They literally look like a toy body part. I actually just, I'm so baffled by these. At the same time, they are kind of cool. I never would wear these out ever. They are not my style one bit, but I just am so intrigued by strange things like this. Look at the size of that. Like my foot is literally gonna be a giant ball of red. I'm sure many people have already said this on the internet, but these shoes literally remind me of something that like Mario would wear, you know? It's a me, Mario. They just look like they would match Mario's hat so well. They look like they would be the perfect co-ord. Now to go with the Mario shoes, I thought, right, I need an equally ridiculous outfit. So I found these ridiculously metallic items on ASOS and I just thought, you know what? These need to go as a whole outfit. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're ridiculous on their own, but as an outfit together, I think they're going to be even better. First up, we have these metallic tinfoil cargo trousers. I mean... I've seen it all now. These are from Monkey, which is like a reputable brand as well. So honestly, I don't know where they were going with this pair. Like, honestly, who is actually wearing and buying these apart from me? I feel like I'm gonna look like a lasagna that's like ready to be put in the oven. I did also pick up a little handbag because I just couldn't help myself. When I saw this one, I was like, right, this is gonna go perfect. It's all the tinfoil vibes all at once. I cannot wait to try this outfit on. And lastly, to complete the look, obviously we need a top, so I found this jacket and I'm sure you guys can tell where I'm going with this. It is a metallic puffer coat. <laughs> It's so freaking ridiculous. It's very reflective, actually. I feel like I'm just gonna look like I'm ready to like go to space. And especially with these moon boots, this is gonna be quite the outfit. Let's go try it on. What has my life come to? I genuinely have no words when it comes to this outfit. Like, are we just, are we seeing this? Why do clothes like this exist? I mean, I'm all for like expressing yourself and having a funky style, but genuinely these shoes, they're not practical. Like, where am I supposed to wear these? My feet just look so funny. Every time I look down, I'm like, are those my feet? They literally look like bowling balls. Like, look at it from this perspective. As for the rest of the outfit, I feel like it's weird, but it's not as weird as the shoes. Like, I could actually get on board with some of these clothing items. The bag isn't so bad. The jacket is a bit extra, but I mean, it's still okay. The trousers, however, I would say that the quality of them is on par with actual tinfoil, and that's so bad 
because they're literally for monkey. They just feel so thin and just so bad. I am not a fan. Overall, I would say this outfit is very, very interesting and very weird, but I think we've already gathered that. Honestly, this outfit makes me feel like I'm the love child between Mario and Tin Man. On the weirdness scale of one to 10, I'm giving this outfit a 10 out of 10, baby. All right, now moving right along to the next outfit. When I saw this little co-ord on ASOS, I just, I felt like I needed to get it for this video. Here it is. It is the most extra grass looking dress I've ever seen. This actually just looks like a patch of fake AstroTurf grass, but with like a little bit of shimmer to it, you know? It's like a sassy version of AstroTurf. It's ready to go clubbing. This is actually the skirt part and it's actually quite like a midi sort of skirt. So there's quite a lot of length to it. It has a little slit in the back too. And then to go with it, I also picked up the top half because this is like a little bit of a co-ord. Here is the top half. It's got a long sleeve. It's got a v-neck and honestly it's literally made of the exact same fabric as the skirt. It's very very extra. I would never ever think to wear something like this out but honestly I take my hats off to anyone who would. I feel like you have to have a certain level of confidence to rock something like this but it's very funky. In my opinion this outfit is definitely a little bit outside the norm which is why it's found its way into this video so let's go try it on and see how it looks. Okay here here is the grass outfit. I literally feel like a patch of someone's lawn. I have to say, I didn't think I would like this outfit and I do still think it looks crazy, but I absolutely love the amount of movement it has. I wish I could dance or like do salsa or something because I feel like this outfit would be perfect for that. It looks like a lot of fun, but it's also very like frumpy and just ugly. I'm kind of like on the fence about it. I don't know whether I like it or not. Let me know what you guys think of it. I still think it's so weird and so strange and I would never wear this out. But I do have to give it credit where it's due, considering it has all this like plastic kind of, you know, sequence attached to it. It's actually very comfortable. Oh my gosh, I've just realized where this outfit would be perfect for. Imagine going to a Christmas party and rocking up in this. You would literally be a live Christmas tree rocking up to your party. Okay, for that singular occasion, I could totally see myself wearing something like this and like decorating it in all the baubles. On the weirdness scale, I'm gonna give this like a nine out of 10. It's very much up there. All right, now moving on to the next outfit. This one is gonna be very, very strange. It's very mismatched. These two items definitely do not go together in my opinion, but that's why I think it makes it even better. I love how usually I show you guys like trendy clothing, clothing that I personally really like, but this video is usually just things that I absolutely hate, but it's literally just for your entertainment that I'm actually buying them and trying them on. And this next item definitely is right up there with items I absolutely hate. This is it. It's basically a little like crop top. However, it's not your typical crop top. As you can see, it's got quite a lot of straps. It's got a little bit of like a crisscross effect, but it doesn't end there. It also has this really, really long piece of fabric that drapes behind your back, like the whole way down. So it's business in the front and then it's most definitely a party in the back. Look at this mermaid-y sort of fabric. It literally feels like it's a mermaid tail just draping at the back. This is the brand that it's from. I've never heard of it, but honestly, I don't know how to feel about this. I just thought it was really strange. I've never seen anything like it. So to go with it, I had to obviously match the level of like extra with the trousers. I found these on ASOS and honestly, I feel like these look like Cousin It. These are very much like a Chewbacca kind of situation going on and honestly, I don't know how to feel about these again. They are very, very funky. I feel like they're super fun and they have a lot of movement in them, but yeah, definitely not something I would think to ever pick up myself. Like I said, these are probably not gonna go together very well. So if you guys clicked on this video, hoping to see like actually fashionable clothes. I am really sorry. This video is literally just for shits and giggles. So let's go try it on and see how it looks. Okay, so here is the outfit with the cape. Are you seeing this madness? It is so extra. I just don't really understand it. Like it feels like a dress because it has something so long in the back, but it's literally just a top in the front. So I'm kind of confused about this concept. I do think it's a very innovative concept. And like I said, I've never seen anything like this before. Let me know what you guys think of it. Would 
would you wear this or do you think it's just completely whack? Once again, I'm kind of on the fence about it. I feel like with the right pair of trousers, maybe this could have looked okay. But I feel like when you pair an outfit with these kinds of trousers, there's just no going back. Nothing can salvage this outfit, that's for sure. I feel like I could totally wear these at home, like with no one seeing me, but because they're so like statement and extra, I probably wouldn't wear them out. Honestly, now that you have seen this, I feel like you have seen everything. You don't need to see any more strange outfits from me because I feel like this just tops it. Honestly, it's the top for me that really does it and makes it really strange. I mean, from the back, it looks okay. It actually looks like a dress. But from the front, it's just a big fat no from me. All right, now moving on to the next item. We actually have a dress and this is what it looks like. There's a lot of chains in there. I saw this dress and I just knew I had to try it out. I can already tell this is gonna be a very extra dress and it's also gonna be very cold. I literally hate trying on things like this because the chains are always so cold on my body. Anyways, this is the dress. It was a hundred pounds if I remember correctly and it is literally just a mesh dress that's covered in these chains. It's from a brand called Starry Eyed and it is definitely a statement piece. I mean, look at it. I can totally see why it is a hundred pounds. I mean, at the end of the day, it is just chains. However, the placement and like the mesh fabric is kind of hard to like pair together because I could see this being an absolute nightmare to manufacture. Imagine having to sew through like this mesh fabric, like this rips so easy. So yeah, I just thought it was really interesting. There's obviously not a lot to this dress apart from the fact that it's very overexposing. I'm definitely gonna have to wear some kind of neutral underwear underneath this to not flash you guys, but let's try this bad boy on and see how it feels. All right guys, so here is the chain dress on and when I tell you it's loud, let me just demonstrate. It is so loud. If I wore this out, you would definitely hear me coming from a mile away. When I put this on, it was definitely not a very nice experience. That's for sure. It was so cold and it still feels very, very cold to the touch. Like the chains definitely need a little while to warm up to like your body heat. But I actually think it's kind of cool now that I have it on. Obviously I just popped on some like bando and my little neutral cycling shorts underneath like I usually do. This was definitely way too sheer just to wear on its own. You would see everything. Thing. It's kind of cool, but I feel like a few of the chains have actually snapped. I don't know if this is the design, but like some of the chains are really long and hanging really loose, and I think they might have actually snapped. As ridiculous as this dress is, I do think it would actually make a really cool dress for like a fancy party or an event or a red carpet. Not that regular people like me would actually go to things like this, but you know what I mean. I'm just saying, I'm just throwing out the different occasions you could wear this to. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this dress. Would you wear it or do you think it's just a little bit too skimpy. So let me know what you guys think of this dress. I think I would probably rate this like an eight out of 10 on the weirdness scale. I think it's kind of cool, but for me, I think it's a little bit too see-through and too showy. All right, and now moving on to the very last outfit, we actually have a dress and it doesn't look that weird in the bag, does it? However, online, it definitely, definitely looks very interesting and very strange. Here's a photo of what it looks like. And honestly, I feel like it's a very extra dress especially because of like all the texture that it has. Here we go, now we're getting that sass. It was very flattened in the package, but it has a lot of texture to it. It kind of makes me think of like a flower petal. It's like that all over and I just think it's so crazy. I think if you're quite into like wearing interesting outfits and you're quite daring, you might actually just like this and not think it's too weird. But for me personally, I do not wear things like this. So this is definitely very adventurous for me. I mean, let's go try it on and see how it looks. Who knows? I might I even like it. And here is the last dress and what it looks like on. Honestly, I kind of feel like a petal or some kind of flower. And that's definitely not in a bad way, but this dress does kind of feel a little bit frumpy to me. I think what it is for me is the fact that the layers are just way too high up in my neck. I feel like I'm literally being swallowed by this dress. Even if it had just a little bit of something just taken away from the neckline, maybe like a V-neck or a scoop neck, I feel like that would have made it 10 times better. It's actually 
not that badly fitted around my hips and my waist. I actually really, really like the shape of it, but it's just the texture and like the amount of ruffles. That to me is what made this dress weird enough to be placed in this video. So I'm really sorry if you guys like this. Don't get me wrong though, it's not that bad. I could totally see other people wearing this, but it's just not for me. So on the weirdness scale for this one, I think I'm gonna give it like a seven out of 10. All right guys, so that was everything for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing these weird outfits from the internet. I had so much fun trying them out. I think my favorite part of this video is definitely that first outfit with the metallic all over and those red ridiculous shoes. Let me know what you guys think of these outfits and especially those red shoes. Honestly, I cannot believe they're trending right now. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to smash that huge thumbs up down below. It helps me out a lot. And also be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you here. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video as always. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mwah.